Kenethia Miller, 27-year-old unmarried mother of three, gets food stamps and free housing and just qualified for another program in D.C. Strong families, stronger futures is the program. And Kenetha got nearly 11 grand lump sum to provide for her young children and then blew most of it bawling out in Miami. She took her family on a $6,000 vacay, buying all of them new clothes for each day of the trip where they ate steak every night. She bragged that she used more of the money on a mommy makeover so she wouldn't look like a, quote, working mom, which, to be fair, she isn't. She's justifying the spending spree, saying she taught her kids that if they worked hard, they can live large. She even talked to the Washington Post, quote, I wanted to blow it. I wanted to have fun. And it might just seem like it's just 11,000. But these programs are everywhere. D.C. gave this grant to almost 150 people. 1.5 million. Gone. I don't need no man. A single mother is allowed to spend her child support money on whatever she wants and let me tell you why. I've been seeing a lot of controversy on what a woman can and cannot spend her child support money on. So they're parasites then. Super parasite. Parasites. Parasite. An organism that lives off or in another organism. A parasite is a living thing that obtains nourishment and protection from another organism called a host while providing no benefit in return. Parasites can be animals or plants and they can harm or even kill their host. Examples include lice, ringworms, mosquitoes, vampire bats, and worst of all, single mothers. Yeah. <laughs> you wasn't ready for that roar to the floor, Reservoir Dog Talk. It's time that we clear the room and get down to the brass tacks. Brass tacks, if you could have anything, what would it be? Now, I know this type of debate will ruffle some feathers, but I think it's the perfect time to talk about child support reform, or maybe even ending child support in its current form. The first thing you must consider is that child support is a racket, Ponzi scheme. The only difference is that it's not run by couple bosses in velour jogging suits and bats. No, it's run by judges in robes that wave gavels. gavels. This is the big one. There are massive federal programs that were instituted in, in the late 1970s that pay states trillions of dollars to tear families apart. What did he say? Like in Texas, we get 66 cents on the dollar put into the Texas Treasury for every dollar of child support that's paid. Right? So the state is now highly incentivized to issue the maximum amount of child support. The state is paid by your government to tear families apart. The single mother is complicit in this crime against you. She must only agree to quote-unquote kick up peso money to the state, a.k.a. her mafia capo, to grease the wheels and steal every dollar in your bank account. Trust me, this has nothing to do with the welfare of the children involved. When a woman sues you for child support, you must not look at it as her doing what's best for the child. This, my comrade, is self-imposed ignorance. Which, to me, <laughs> is a worse crime. No, view it as her pledge of allegiance to the mob or the state, a.k.a. becoming a made woman. She has given your personal information up to an organization that will break your back like Bane did to Batman. Well, if necessary, <laughs> keep this thought in mind with every future encounter you have with her. Yes, you will work with her for the sake of your children, but she is no longer considered your baby's mother. No, she is a henchman for the state. The state, the state, the state. I pay 800 a month in child support and I don't care how my baby mama living as long as my son getting what he needs. This is all I'm saying. He ain't lying. What do you think drives that behavior in women to act that way, to take on a victim mentality, to be vindictive, to look to tear down to destroy, to say things like the reason we don't have milk is because your father won't give us any money. What, what's the underlying root of that? And if there was a woman listening to this that was either already in that frame of behavior or were, was in temptation to start acting that way, is there something that you can say from, um, from your experience? In family court, when these guys come in and they say, I don't understand why she's doing this. You can always put it in one of two categories, money or control. Everything can go in one of two, ca two categories, money or control. Okay. Okay. So, and you have the, the, you have feminism that tells us, right? You have to 
Don't rely on a man ever. Okay? You have to be independent. You don't need a man. I don't need no man. I don't need no man. You, uh, if you and I are married, I don't need you. I could leave you and you pay me child support and you pay me alimony and I'm going to be an independent woman. Okay, well, obviously, I'm not an independent woman if I'm relying on you for money, but that's still the mindset that feminism is is, is just grinding down. Destructive. It's, it's destructive. That if you offer your opinion to me and I disagree, well, if I take your opinion, then I, I must be oppressed in some way. I must be an abused woman. I don't realize it, but maybe one day I'll realize how oppressed I am. So the consequence of that is if you're a woman in this mindset, you might keep your child's father away. And you might. Because at some point, at some point, if your children are going to turn out healthy, if they're going to be healthy minded, they will look back and they will see what you did. When a woman chooses the mafia or child support court, she has chosen the judge and the state to be the head of the household. She has also chosen the state to control the budget of the household. That means not one extra dollar should go into the mother's hands from your pocket. So for those of you that are so gung-ho on going down to the courts for child support, let me let you in on a little secret, okay? Whatever the judgment is that the judge gives you, you are not allowed to ask the other parent for anything above that monetary amount. So if it's $25 or if it's $2,500, that parent does not have to provide anything other than what the court order says. So this means that the other parent is not financially obligated to give you any money for back to school shopping, holidays, birthdays, extracurricular activities, summer camp, nothing. They do not have to provide anything other than what that court order says. Now, if you feel that additional money is necessary for the welfare of your child, you must either figure out a way to give it to your child under the table or save and invest this money in an account the mother has no knowledge or control over to aid your child in future endeavors. But not one extra red cent shall go to the middle woman known as your baby mother. Yes, this might sound harsh, but remember, this was not your choice. You must fully accept that a dollar in your baby mother's pocket does not always go towards your child. And most importantly, we will not help fund the Western matriarchy. In future videos, we will go deeper into this topic. He ain't lying. But wait a minute. You didn't smash the bell and press the like button. Blast, 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 blast. And although you will never be worthy of a monarch such as myself, the Lord Destro would suggest that you poor fools at least give oligarchy a try. So me, 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 Destro, I smoke.